Hi everybody! So come along with me on another make it raw on another make it raw recipe type of video here with me. Um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me while I make my raw vegan dinner. It's this is another really really good one. It's with my it's my cheesy cinnamon corn dressing um, in a bell pepper sprouted mung bean sprout bowl. It's super good. I did a cheesy cinnamon zoodle recipe, um, but this is that same dressing only with a different a vegetable type base, a fruity vegetable type base. And it's just kind of showing you uh, all the different types of combinations that you can do with just one dressing. With one dressing, use your favorite type of dressing and there's so many different ways you can eat it and um, this is another way that I have found that I just love the sweet mini peppers really made it really good but this is my base here so I also did just a sprouted mung bean bowl with the same cheesy dressing but this time I added cauliflower and chopped sweet mini bell peppers which is these right here and um, I chopped up a bunch of those and put those in there, chopped up some cauliflower and then sprouted mung beans. So the cauliflower that I used is I only used one large little uh, head there. And then um, this is these are my sprouts. I got alfalfa sprouts in there going. But um, I buy mung beans here, you guys. Uh, mung beans in bulk. And then um, I don't cook them. No, we don't want to cook them. We sprout them. So, and then these are my sprouted mung beans. Okay, perfect for dinner. The sprouted mung beans are tasty. I love sprouted mung beans. So I figured we'd make the dressing together. Okay, so this is my base. So you can see the bowl. This this makes one serving. One serving for if you're a raw foodie, you know, you eat large meals because that's wonderful to eat large meals. So that is my base there, okay? And then, um, so here's my dressing, guys. So let's see the action going on down here. Okay, there we go, there we go. So now you can see the bowl here, but the, these are my, this is my dressing ingredients. So hopefully the lighting we can do, here we go. Okay, now I, um, I don't have no heirloom tomatoes which I highly recommend using heirloom tomatoes, but I got just regular cherub tomatoes. You wanna use the orange or yellow variety. So these are just the cherub tomatoes. So you want about a one fourth cup of um, tomato um, or about four or eight cherub tomatoes here. And then you want one raw corn cob. You wanna use yellow corn, but this is white. You can also use white corn also. You still get the same effect, but it, I've noticed it tastes a little bit better when you use the yellow corn. But just take one raw corn cob and cut off the kernels there and eat your corn raw. It's so much better that way. Sweet and creamy and slightly cheesy. Yes, it is. And then two uh, lemon wedges and then one rib of celery and then a chunk of fresh chili pepper. You use as much chili pepper as you want. It's to your spicy liking. This pepper in particular is not very spicy, so I used a larger chunk two medjool dates and a half inch slice of leek onion. And this is leek onion. Leek onions are super, super good. It's a cross between chives, garlic and chives. So you get the best of both worlds. It's so delicious, lots of flavor. Then I got some extra freshly, uh, uh, fresh chives from my garden that I picked to put on top at the end if I desire to do so. So that's the dressing. Oh, and then also paprika and cinnamon. Okay, guys? So let's get started here so this video don't go on too long for you guys. I'm sorry. I will soon be getting a video or a new laptop soon so I can um, use a video editor so I can piece clips together. I've been wanting to do that for so long and my old laptop is finally going kaput on me. So um, I can finally move on. Move on with a new one, right? Okay, so you know, you guys know to always put your soft items in first. So the tomatoes go in first. Then I'm gonna put in um, lemon, and then I'm gonna put my corn. Let's put our corn in there. And actually, we can just do that. And then the celery, chili pepper, uh, dates, and then actually I'm going to cut my onion. And, and you guys know you can most certainly fast. 
fast forward through this part if um, you don't want to hear me babble, you know. <laughs> And for cinnamon, you guys, you it's to taste, okay? It's not even a fourth of a teaspoon or anything. It, uh, that's, that's too much. But you wanna put enough to taste, and I'm putting about, about this much, okay, you guys? And actually, maybe just a, maybe just a little bit, a little bit more, there we go. And then paprika, same with the paprika. You most certainly don't have to put spices in if you're not a fan of spices, if you're a raw foodie or anything. Um, but I still like to consume spices, so spices are going in there. Okay? Yeah. So that should be good. So now we're gonna blend this together, you guys. This is uh, one of my top favorite dressings. It's, it gives off a cheesy effect, but it's no nutritional yeast. I'm not a fan of using nutritional yeast. And, um, but it gives off a cheesy consistency. It's really bizarre, but that's what the corn does. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm like, why not? And I don't add no fat to my dressings or anything because I find that the fat overpowers the flavors of the other fruits and vegetables. And I, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. So um, that's another benefit of using raw corn is you get more of a uh, creamier effect, I guess you could say. Before I turn it, whip it onto high, I like to move it or blend, kind of push everything together first so everything doesn't just like flick all over to the, in the blender, you know? I don't know if you guys have that problem, but I get that problem. So I'm like, no, let's keep it on low first before we turn it on high. Okay. And then make sure everything's just smushed, smushed together. Okay, here we go guys, close your ears. combination oh my gosh look at that does that not look like cheese man got a tasty taste test to make sure all the combos if it doesn't need a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that you know awesome mmm oh, oh. Mmm, dressing. The dressing never gets old. Seriously, you guys. The dressing never gets old. So sorry if I'm flipping this light on and off, you guys. I struggle with the lighting. I'm not a professional at this YouTube stuff or this video stuff, so you just gotta bear with me. Okay, guys. Just gotta bear with me. Okay, so here's here's our bowl. Oh, this is the exciting part, of course, you know. But like I mentioned in some of my other Make It Raw videos, is I most certainly will get every last bit of dressing out of this blender. And I will lick it all up, even if I have to stick my little fingers in there and lick all around it just to get everything out. Because I waste not. I waste not. Because I view it as like, you know what? I paid for the fruits and vegetables. I'm not. There's a lot left over at the bottom of the blender. And I can't just rinse it out. I gotta get every last bit out. It bothers me, I guess. It it just it just eats away at me, I guess you could say. 
Okay, guys, so, oh my gosh. And actually, it doesn't really need any chives on top because I, I got enough, I got enough um, leek onion in there. I can taste it pretty good. Okay, so I will guarantee lick all that up later. Look at that. Oh, this is such a delicious combination. There you go, awesome. And then, of course, we mix it together. And seriously, the bell peppers just make a wonderful addition to this. I mean, it's really good with um, spiralized zucchini zoodles, of course. But this is just another combination that's just really, really good. But like I said, I did a, there's also a cheesy kale. You can do just kale, chopped up kale with this, which is super good. And then just sprouted mung beans or a variety of different sprouts. Or you can do a version like this where you add some cauliflower and some sweet uh, mini peppers to it. Or you can make wraps, get Swiss chard leaves or collard greens or... Um, iceberg lettuce or green leaf or red leaf lettuce and um, make lettuce wraps or lettuce cups or you can take portobello mushrooms and make a nice burger type meal and there you go look at that guys isn't that delicious oh my gosh it looks it, it like I mentioned before I wish there was such a thing as smell-o-vision too you know because if you guys could just like hit that button like turn on smell-o-vision, oh, get a whiff. Actually, not a whiff. Don't get a little sniff, get a whiff of it. It's super, it's fragrant. Oh my gosh, here we go, guys. Here we go. And look at this, this is my dinner. Th it's not boring eating raw vegan, you guys. It, it is, oh my gosh, it is so darn tasty. Oh, I love it so much. Mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. The flavors go perfectly together. Mm. And the crunch. Perfect. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay guys, so remember to love being raw. We put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you guys. Hopefully you guys try out this recipe. If you want, hopefully you like it. Let me know if you do. And if you don't, you know what? That's just fine. Everybody's got their own their own flavors that they desire and everything. Okay, guys? So I'll stop babbling here. I'll let you guys go. I'll see you next video. Okay? Bye, guys.